go. Hello! I'm here. Still alive. Sapper, how you doing? Oh my god, it's a long drive. You know, it, it... What? Oh my goodness, my cats. It, it wasn't as long as some of the other drives that I've done, uh, which is a good thing, but I'm still relatively tired after it because I'm not really used to driving so much, you know? But it was a good day. It, uh, it looks great. It, um, it's, it's so, it's like a lot of land and we walked through it and it was, it was really nice. So we're getting in contact with people. Yeah, 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 no, I'm, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. I think that so long as we get the okay to build something on it, um, we'll probably just get it. Because it's better than living in a house that is going to be torn down in like four years, you know? Yeah, it's uh, the Subnautica soundtrack. They do have some, some very good music. Hey, you. Hey. Hey, Sapper. Hey, Tonic. Hey Wednesday, how you guys doing? <laughs> Today was a very busy day. Very busy, very, very, very busy. But, um, what? What is a thing? Odin, can you not do that? You just shitted. I mean, that's cool. What's up? Oh, I just, I just got home. Uh, from looking at land that I might buy. Oh god, kitties. It's been, a, it's been an exciting day. I'm exhausted. I drove all day. <laughs> but it's okay. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. I'm very excited. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, I'm buying land. And this might be the one. This might be the one. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna build a house. Because it's actually cheaper to build a house than it is to buy a house. <laughs> and then it'll all be new. Rather than buying a house that's more expensive and you have to fucking re- Like, renovate the whole thing, you know? Bing! Relax! But we also don't want a big house. Like, I'm not gonna build one of those, like, McMansions. Yeah, yeah, no, it's all good, it's all good. You do your thing. I'm gonna be hopping into the game relatively soon. Yeah. The housing market's so fucked. It is literally cheaper to buy land and build a house on it. But we also- we want to do a homestead. So like, land is cheaper out in the country. I'm not saying it's super cheap, trust me. But, that's okay. That's okay. We'll get it. And uh, we'll be able to do our chickens and some goats and some fruit and nut trees, raised garden beds, maybe a greenhouse, um, all sorts of stuff. No, I'm not worried about that. I'm not worried about that. Now it's close enough to a town too that it'll be fine. And also by the time I actually move on to it, uh, Starlink will be up here. They're already doing Starlink in Canada. You have to apply for it, but you can get Starlink in Canada. And it's better than the internet that I have right now. And Drake would be your neighbor, yeah. Yeah, no thank you. You fuck that. 
I don't want to live close to Toronto. Like, close enough that I can be there in, like, a few hours, maybe. But, like... What good do I get being close to a big city? I don't know. It's just... It's not something I want. <laughs> I don't want to be close to the city. <clears throat> Drake more like- f I don't know anything about Drake. I don't- I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know what I mean. But yeah, I'm not super concerned about internet. I think we'll be fine. And my cell service is perfect out there. Like, it's close enough to a town that I can actually walk to the town. So... And there's all sorts of- like, there's stuff going on. Odin, I don't want to have to kick you out this early. Come on. I know, I was gone all day and you're upset. But just come hang out on my lap then, you little squish muffin. You don't have to run around destroying everything that I love. Because then I will destroy you. Oh, he's sniffing my hand. It's because I was touching plants and stuff. Um, well, I'm probably gonna go with, like, a prefab house and get some form of con- Well, I, you know, I'm gonna have to get a septic dug. I'm gonna have to get electricity brought onto the property. Um, I'm going to need to get a well dug, most likely. And, um, like, I'm gonna have to do all sorts of stuff for that, but then- there are a lot of prefabs that I'm looking at that I'm just gonna go with, to be totally honest. Like, good quality ones that are winter- winter- like, there's a- there's a lot of different prefab, like, cabin companies up here. Oh no, I know. I know. Don't worry, Sapper. And it's not just me paying for it, too, so we're both- we're good. We are, um... We're both doing all right for it. Basically, we will be able to afford it. Goodness. We will be able to afford it. Based on current trajectories. Shit's going all right. It's not that bad. It's 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 really not that bad. Um, it depends on your system, and there are really good systems. I really have no problem shelling out money to get good shit so that we don't have to worry about it breaking down as much in the first ten years. Like, if this can cost us less than $250,000 total. That'd be cool. Odin? Odin, okay, all right. I, I do not have the head to deal with you and your spastic personality right now. Come on, come on, let's go. Oh, no, 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 go on. Yeah, yeah there you go, bye. I'm too tired to deal with you right now, Odin. Ugh. But no, everything's looking good. And um, the land, it, it would just need to be flattened in a certain area, which is most likely where the house would be built. And uh, it, it's looking good. <sighs> yeah, I just, it's cause I was gone all day. I woke up early and then I left. And now I'm back home and I'm streaming. So I'm not just paying attention to him, you know? There we go. <clears throat> no, I don't- I'm not taking out a loan. I- I really ref I don't want to do anything on a loan. No. I'm just buying shit outright. Should go over pretty well. Um, when talking with 
every like talking with uh, real estate agents, talking with the city, lawyers, stuff like that. It's it's going way more smoothly in this area than everywhere else. So. A lot less of a headache. Significantly less of a headache. Better county. Um, it's just it's just super solid so far. A lot less building restrictions. Yeah, yeah, I'm really happy about that. And we did it. We took a drove through the town, and it's lovely. It's actually really cute. <laughs> I love it. Like, it's not a super small town, but it's definitely a small town, which is nice, because I don't really like living in a big town or a city. I grew up in the country. I prefer to hear the sounds of the red wing blackbirds, you know, and like, it might be a little loud during rush hour, but it's loud everywhere during rush hour, no matter where you live. Everywhere is a through road to somewhere here in Ontario, so I'm used to it. There's so many people down here. Mm. So yeah, it's good time. Good times. Oh, this is a good song. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Tier three. Thank you, Fido. <laughs> thank you so, so much. A seven month streak. You're crazy. I love you. Thanks. <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, Bruce Peninsula looks nice. That would be nice. Vidip, I, uh, I, uh, I'm exhausted. I spent all day driving because I went out to go look at land today. And, um, this might be the one. This might actually be the one. I'm very excited. I, I know I don't look excited, but it's because I'm exhausted and I spent all day driving. It might be the one! It looks perfect. It's in the perfect area. The restrictions in the area are just right. God, it'll be so like if 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 we get this we're having a party in rural America we measure city size and the amount of traffic lights your city has understandable it's kind of like that here too <laughs> I, I like living in a town that has like between three and eight traffic lights I think that's perfect. Between three and eight. Any more than that, and there's... Then it just becomes, like, 20 different pizza restaurants and, and like, just too many people. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, if there's three good pizza joints in town, then you're pretty good. <laughs> Every town, no matter how small, has a, a liquor store or three. But... Also a grocery store. It needs a grocery store. At least a small one for, like, basic foods. Yeah, I don't want to live in a suburb. I want to move away from that. Like, I drove past a lot of land that's being developed and it's gross. It's gross. GTA is expanding. That's why I'm moving to, like, buttfuck nowhere. Kind of. Kind of. I moved to a town where it doesn't really make sense for it to expand. Because it's out of the way. It's really out of the way. But it's still a town, you know. There's still... Popular amenities. Amenities? How do you even say that word? I don't know. I've only seen it typed out, I think. I don't hear people speak anymore. <laughs> Um, there's stuff. <laughs> there's stuff going on. I just hope they have a spa so that I can, I can get like my facials and massages. Yeah, that's what I- once a month going in for a massage and to get some stuff put on my face so that 
My skin doesn't freak out. I miss that. That's one thing that I really miss about uh, pre-COVID. No, I didn't look for that while I was there. I mean, I could still drive. Like, I know where one is that's like 40 minutes away, which is fine. Hey, Nitro, how you doing? But no, I was more so looking for things like grocery store, LCBO, pizza places, etc. Um, stuff like that, you know? You got coffee? Nice. I have tea. Yes. In about 10 minutes, I'm going to get into Subnautica. About 10. I'm just trying to sit, rest my eyes a little, get a little bit more caffeine into my body. It's all, it's all good. It's good stuff. Good stuff. I feel tired. I'll still be fine to be online, though. Um... One heckin' second. AN fittings? What's that? Like a clothing thing? I don't know how, but there's always a Dollar General within 10 miles of me. Understandable. A nap stream. I actually hate naps. I really hate, hate, hate naps. Dude, I live off of tea. I, I live off of it. Hanlon, did you hear the news? I don't know how many people have been lurking for the last 20 minutes. <laughs> did you hear the exciting news? I had a big day today. <laughs> Oil line connectors. Oh, okay. Yeah, I would have no idea. I drove all day today, Hanlon. Hi, Zero. Because I went to go look at land that I might be buying. It's very exciting. I got to walk the property. It's just, just land. There's no buildings on it or anything. Um, it's got a pond. It's got forest. It's got a clearing. It's got a tr like a little trail. There's um, so much like wildlife. It's like a lot of acres, a good price, and uh, it's away from the city, but it's close enough to a town that like I can walk to it. No neighbors. No, it's surrounded by protected land. It's like in, there's a part, a portion of my property is environmentally protected, but it's okay because it's a huge property. I don't need to build everywhere. Um, and I'm, I'm surrounded by environmentally protected land. There's just like a little chunk of land that's not environmentally protected. So it's being sold. I know, <laughs> I know, it's just, it's a weird property. So it's not what most people are looking for when they're looking for country land. Because there's like, I mean, I don't want to talk about it too much. I mean... Not that I would really give much away for the location, but, um... Does it have trees? It does, yeah. Oh no, there's a forest. There's a whole forest. And some clearings where I could build the house. It's just so... cool. It's just, And there's a small pond, and there's a river. There's a river on the property. I could go fishing on my own property. There will be internet, yeah. It's it, You could walk to town. You, and also, uh, Starlink is already in Canada. It's just, you need to apply for it. But in the next year or two, Elon Musk wants Canada, at least all of southern Canada, to have it. Yeah, like, my house wouldn't be on the river, but it would be quick walking distance there. It is almost too good to be true, which is why we're getting it surveyed and we're getting the well water tested, because we'd be on a well. And uh, we could easily get electricity brought onto the property. Like, there's there's a property across the street where there's a house, but it's like, here's the road. Okay. Here's the road. 
here's my property that runs like all along back here and then on the other side of the road there's the property but then there's like a field and then on the other side of that field is their house and there's also a bunch of really really old evergreen trees that run the line of the property so people can't just see in it's completely protected like there's a couple gaps or whatever and the, it's entirely fenced in the whole property is fenced in. Oh, that's so cool, Sapper. Nice. Yeah, that's, that's a little far north for me, but that's amazing. It is really cool. It's so cool. It's a really old fence, so it's kind of falling apart, but it's still up right now. That's all that matters. I don't give a shit if it's really old. <laughs> Just replace some of the wood in some places. It's, it's like also barbed wire protected. So the pig would be able to free roam the property. Oh my god, I know, right? We're, we're e we emailed them today, and hopefully we'll get the responses tomorrow. But I'm... Oh my god, I'm... As I know I don't look very stoked, but this is... Probably the most exciting thing I've ever done in my whole life. This is probably the most exciting thing I've ever done in my whole life. It's, it's like surreal. It's like it hasn't even hit me yet. But, fingers crossed, I don't have it yet. Uh, it's a quiet river. It's not like quick. It's a, it's a slow moving river. But we're thinking about digging out part of it. Um, also so that there's less spreading and it'll be more of a river. You know what I mean? Because it gets, it's kind of marshy. But there's like a high part in a low part. So the house would be up here because there's a big clearing of the high part and then it goes down and then there's kind of like some marsh. But I don't want to say how many acres. It's a lot of acres. Not 150 a lot of acres, but it's a lot of acres. And yeah, at the top of the raised part, you look out and you just see nature and there's like birds everywhere. It's so beautiful. Oh my god. Oh, it's just so nice. It's so it's so nice. I I don't want to jinx it. I want it. I want it so badly. I could buy it right now. I could. I could message them and be like, hey, here's the money. And I could get it. Like, I have it in my bank account right now. It's just... You know, I want to get that survey done first. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I'll... What I'll probably do is I will be very selective with how I show it and I'll do like YouTube videos showing stuff. Am I Bitcoin rich or something? Uh, I'm a super villain actually. I'm a super villain. It's fantastic. But yeah, I have been driving all day. <laughs> I'm so tired right now. <laughs> I don't think I haven't seen you this stoked since the last time you found this. <laughs> this is the best one that we've found so far. This is this is the best one we found so far. It's the biggest property for the best price in the best area. I'm quite excited about it. I'm quite excited. It's a good thing. Yeah, <laughs> well, I mean, the tarantula business can pull in over 100k a year. The thing is, is that I had investment money to go into it. So I have the rare species that you can sell for $500 each. I have, and there's demand, and I have no problem driving down to the border and doing cross-border sales. And also, we have connections with companies that will mass buy them too. So that's the thing. They they molt once, they all have their first meal, then they go. Also, isopods. Some of the isopod species that I have sell for 25 bucks each and you sell them for like, you sell them like a colony of like 10 or more. That adds up, especially when they're popping out like fucking... A lot of babies. <laughs> yeah, they will. And I have no problem with like once a month 
driving in to like the Toronto area and then just meeting people in like a parking lot and then just having all the all the packages boxed up like just get them to e-transfer me and then I box them all up put them in the back of the car drive to a certain spot say I'll be here from this time to this time and then people come pick them up and then I just drive back home make thousands of dollars that way thousands <laughs> it's pretty cool it's pretty cool good stuff I'm actually going to be selling some in a couple months. I'm just growing them up. I got them for pretty cheap, but once you raise them up and sex them, if you have females, you can sell each female for more than I paid for all of the slings combined. So that's pretty sick. And I can also find people that have females. And if I have males, be like, hey, you want a male for your breeding project? Sell it to them for a decent price. Just get it out of my hands. Yeah, they are adorable. They're so fucking cute. I love them. I'm obsessed with them. And then the, um, the, uh, centipedes, the plings, the ones that I have, the Galapagoensis, they can sell for, like, 500 bucks each. They'll have, like, 20 babies. I am obsessed with, like, the hustle. It's my life. I don't know. I guess. Yeah, I don't know, I guess. I know. I just... I'm tired. <laughs> That's all. That's, I, That's why I need this. <laughs> That's why I need this. I'm not hustling here. I'm just chilling, chatting with cool people, playing good video games. It's... this is my relaxing time. And it's still, in a way, kind of profitable. <laughs> Which isn't cool, like, don't get me wrong, if I- if I was making more money here, I'd be here more- I'd- I, But I would still treat it like a chill thing. I wouldn't want to, like, be like, Okay, guys, we need to get 500 subs today. Or else I'll... I don't know. Something bad. <laughs> I'll cry. I'll cry for attention. I'll get mad at you guys. You know? I never want to treat this like an intense job, even if it becomes that. I feel like that would just suck. Yeah, I don't- I would never want to do that. A month-long subathon? Okay, but at least if I did a month-long subathon, it wouldn't be like, hey, you guys have to. It'd be like, okay, guys, it's okay if you don't. I'm here. It's cool. And also, the thing with Ludwig is that, well, first of all, he treats this, he treats streaming very differently than me. But also, people just gifted a lot of subs out of their own volition. It's not like he's sitting there being like, okay, guys, spend more money, spend more money, give me more. He was, he was telling people to stop spending money, you know what I mean? So I guess that's kind of the same thing, kind of, in a way, in a way. He felt bad about all the money that he was raking in. Alright. No, no, I'm not a Ludwig. No, he's a legend. Ludwig is a legend and no one can convince me otherwise. But, um, you know. But, you know. Oh, absolutely. 100%. No, like, I'm glad that this is not an income I rely on. I log on here because I love it. I've been on here technically for, like, seven years. Very on and off. I've gone, like, years without streaming. I've gone months without streaming. This is probably the most consistent I've ever been on Twitch. And it's also the most successful I've ever been on Twitch. Um... Like, of course, like, when I play certain games, I don't get anywhere near as many subs. But I have 120-something subs right now, which is more than I ever thought. And I passed 200 recently. But then it dropped off because, you know, gifted subs run out. I have a very good community. I am blessed with an absolutely amazing community of people. The time was right. Yeah, I think, I think the time was quite right. And... I also just love 
being here, you know? I'm spending time with awesome people playing the games I want. I'm not playing games that'll make me popular. I'm not playing games that will, like, that I don't like. I'm only playing games that I feel like playing. And if I grow like that, then... <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, Zapper. Thank you for the gifted sub. If I grow like that, then that's the dream. If I don't, this isn't my job. So that's fine. Oh god, I'm bl everyone here is blessed by Shell. Everyone here is blessed by Shell. But I'm so excited right now! I'm so excited! I'm so fucking beyond excited! I'm stoked! Life is moving. It's so cool. But it's moving in the best way. And who knows? Maybe this will end up- if- I don't want- you know. Knock on wood. I uh... I'm not saying I'm getting this land, but I hope. I hope. I can only hope. And if I do... I don't know, man. It would just... blow my fucking mind, for starters. Fingers crossed and knocking on wood. Oh, goodness. Hell yeah, Doritos. <laughs> Doritos, Doritos. I can't really eat Doritos that much anymore. It makes me sad. They upset my stomach. They're starting to at least, which is kind of a good thing. Just need to find them and use my, my goon squad to like, say like, hey, you know this land here you were thinking about? Stop thinking about it. There's nothing here for you. And then you give them the kiss of death. Yeah, I watched The Godfather 2 the other day, so... All of a sudden, my quarter Italian became 100% Italian. You know what I mean? <laughs> Brute squad on their way. Release the hounds. <laughs> Alright, just give me one second, okay? I gotta... Just... I got my silly mobile game here. I just gotta get these commissions going. And then we can jump right into it. So today we need to find the ion battery. And we need to get more... Um, oh fuck. We need to get more... Uh, sulfur. Crystalline sulfur. Hey, Sean. Emergency. Starvation imminent. Oh fuck. Oh, yeah, okay, thank you. Sean! Exciting news! I've been talking about it for a, a while now, but today, today, I went and uh, looked at land. I have, no, I haven't found it yet. I don't know where it is. I haven't had any time to do anything. Yeah, 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 I'm so excited. It's, it's beyond exciting, is what it is. I'm very happy. Okay, now that we're not starving to death. Do I wanna, yeah, sure, I know, I know it's in like, uh, it's, I think it's in the, I think I know where it is. It's in, like, the thermal plant, right? It's in a, a data console. Yeah, 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 in the th yeah, that's what I thought, yeah. 
It's 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 down there. Uh But is that the one that's in the mountain or at the at like 1400 feet down? I'm not sure. Why is my power so shitty? Are you... What's in here? Is there enough stuff? There's enough stuff. Hello, Div! Lava castle? It's just that there's two lava places. The lava castle. It's somewhere. Yeah, OG! I haven't played Subnautica Below Zero since, um, a long time ago. And they've changed the story a lot since then, so I don't know fuck all about the new stuff. Oh, so it's the one in the mountain. Okay, I got it. Div, 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 div. I know I don't seem very alive right now because I'm not. I'm very tired. I spent all day driving. I'm exhausted. I normally don't go much further than my kitchen, but I drove all day today because, thank you, Sapper, because we were looking at land. We found acreage that has forest, a river. It's got some, some, some raised sections where we could build stuff and have plants and raised garden beds. There's a pond. It's surrounded by environmentally protected land, like all around the outside of the property. So there, it'll never be developed. You can walk to town. It's like a it's like a 20 30 minute walk, maybe a little less, which is fine by me. It's uh it's it's also all fenced in. It's entirely fenced in. No, it's not. It's a decent walk. I I'm used to walking for hours. No. It's... It's also a few hours away from the city, so I'm not close. But Elon Musk has that Starlink stuff, which uh, is already up in Canada. Wait, what? I'm trying to... So, the prefab? Um... Well, we found these, like... They're not... So they're not... Oh wait, is this the laser cutter? Oh, it is. Oops. I was like, why isn't it fixing? Um... We found a company that does like... Like 40 by 20 foot sections. And we would probably put two of them beside each other. I don't remember exactly how many it would be, but it's decent size. Oh my god, right hand lawn? I'll be an elitist. <laughs> nah. You know what I'm gonna be doing? I'm gonna be having barbecues. I'm gonna have a gazebo on the water. I wanna do a boardwalk. I want uh one of those I want like a like a, a hoop um like green it's not necessarily a greenhouse but like a, a hoop house thing where i can have my greens i want a fenced in raised garden bed i want to have a fire pit probably like two or three fire pits let's be real one for each different terrain that i have there's a rocky area there's a forested area there's a a marshy kind of swamp river area God, I just- I just hope I get it. I- like, I have the money for it. Like, in my bank, right? I can just buy it right now if I wanted. The price is right. And, um... 
just... I just... I, I need to talk to the city again. I need to speak with the contractor. I need to speak with, um... Like, just... I need to get the land surveyed so that I can find out exactly where I'm able to build. I need to make sure it's far enough away from the environmentally protected zones, etc. Yo, there's legitimately different terrain. It's so cool. Like, it's it's that many acres. It's not like a hundred acres, but it's like... It's, it's, it's a decent amount of land. Uh, like, I was walking around it today, and I'm just thinking, like, this is incredible. You know, it's, it's really mind-blowing that I might be moving into that era of my life. Like, this, like, and then, like, I could be a landowner by my birthday next month. It's the 28th, so it's less than a month until my birthday. My birthday is May 27th. That would be the best gift to myself, to be honest. That would be such an incredible gift to myself. Like, hey, Archaea. Land. I'm turning 28 next month. Wouldn't that be the best gift to yourself? That would just be the best. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I'm not like, I'm not a zoomer. I'm also not old. Oh, well, I mean, I've been working seven days a week for over, for getting closer to eight years now. I've taken off a few days here and there. <laughs> I went to Germany. Uh, two years ago for four days. That was- I took two days off, a, uh, a, the, like three or four years ago to go to, um, to my family's cottage. Well, that's not really a cottage. It's just- it's- it's like a- they have land up north. Hey, buddy! That's right, you're my friend now. So, you know, I don't really take off a whole lot of time. You got yourself a long Furby? Y'all, it's... I would argue that's about as cool as land, to be fair. I miss my Furby. I had one of those, like, gray Furbies, like the old ones, you know, the, the old cursed ones. The new Furbies are not cursed. Um, the new Furbies don't have, um... They were built too perfect. Dude, I hope so. I mean, if I'm getting it, I'm definitely gonna have it before my birthday because land has been selling like crazy. Um, it's just a matter of, can I build a house on it? Where can I build the house? Oh, for fuck's sakes, right here! I always get stuck right here. That's why I save. Little Moon, do you have- do you need food? Alright, she needs food. I need to pee. Um... Here in this creature? Oh! Oh! Warning. Fucking animals. Yeah, she's working on it. Alright, give me one sec. I need to run to the bathroom. She needs her wet food. I'll be back in just a moment. Woo, guys! Yes, me too! Oh, wow!
Extreme elements. All right, I'm back. been getting me the same bottle of Johnny Walker every year. A Furby's not a bad idea. Yeah. Furbies are fucking awesome. I, I really miss my Furby. That little bastard scared the shit out of my mom. My mom claims that when uh, she went to go put him away that um, it said no, don't put me in the dark place. That's what my mom said it said. As she went to go put it away. Because, you know, in the darkness, they go to sleep. Mine didn't want to go in the darkness. Allegedly. And you know what? I believe her. That thing only loved me. It hated everyone but me. Somehow. Somehow it knew. Somehow it knew. Yeah. So long as he calms down. If he's all fucky again... Oh, wait, should I have brought stuff? Eh, probably. So this place. Oh my goodness. Hey, little guy, how you doing? Okay. Please tell me I don't need a tablet. It would be nice to not need a tablet for here. Oh, I need a tablet! Oh, uh, which one? Purple? Fuck. Why didn't I bring a tablet? Is it because I'm dumb? Probably. All right. I'm not bringing the prawn. It's quicker without it. We're gonna come back. We're gonna come back with the purple tablet. We're gonna get the ion battery recipe. It's gonna be okay. Let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah, the prawn, exactly. We don't have to worry about the warpers anymore, so it's just the... Ah! Uh... Wait! <gasps> I don't need to go all the way back! Where's that cave? There's a cave around here that has one. Ah! It has a purple tablet! Yeah! Somewhere around here. I remember so like I remember a lot of stuff about the game. I don't remember everything, but I certainly remember some stuff. Fucking where were you? There's definitely a cave with a tablet around here. Fuck is it? We're gonna get eaten by a reaper, just wait and see. Is it? Oh, it's toasty here. What the fuck? Hold on, let's go all the way up. 
It's really hard to see anything at night. <sighs> oh my god, if it's- well, I mean, if it's stuck in the floor when I get back, that's also kind of fine, maybe. Because, uh, oh, is- wait, no, that's just the moon. Fuck! Where the fuck is it? Because we could always take the, um... We could take the Cyclops down if we need to go down. Is this the cave I was just in? I think so. Oh! Ah! Oh, I told you! I told you guys, purple tablet. It's right here. Sometimes my brain works. Occasionally. It does its best with what it has to work with. My immediate reaction is to be absolutely terrified hearing and seeing that, but I just don't have to be anymore. It's kind of cool. Not gonna lie. Yo, that would be so uncomfortable. Yo, I don't like that you're not squat down. Why are you not squatting down? If he's stuck, I swear to god, I'll be so upset. Whoa! What was that? Alright. It's time. <sighs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Thank goodness. Look at all this stuff. I can scan it, right? Yeah, alien thermal plant. There we go! Hell yeah. Primary containment facility. A power router in the thermal plant is distributing energy collected on site to other facilities on the planet. I've already been there, girl. Primary containment facility location updated. Constructed within a natural chasm. Connected to this cave network. South-southeast area of volcanic activity. Depth 1.4 kilometers. Power distribution. Self-warping quarantine enforcement units. 5%. The arch network. 10%. Sanctuaries. Alpha, beta, kappa. 10%. Quarantine enforcement platform, 35%. Disease research facility, offline. Primary containment facility, 20%. Reserve, 20%. There is no clear way to interrupt the power flow. That's fine. I don't need to. Oh, yes. Ion power data. Hell yeah! yeah. Alright. It has been possible to extract useful information regarding alien ion power. Ion cubes are grown artificially from a mineral substance and are treated to remain in a stable state despite the huge ionic energy contained within. By installing an ion cube in an appropriate device, this energy can be released as electrical power. Using this knowledge, it has been possible to synthesize new battery and power cell blueprints which leverage advanced ionic energy that lasts considerably longer. 
Let's save. Alrighty. Let's GTFO. Oh no! That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to not get hurt. Alright, guys. You know what this means. Off to build more Neptune! Well, we're, need we're gonna need to take the prawn to get some sulfur. I don't have enough food and water to just... You know what? You know what I'm gonna do, actually? I'm going to go back to the base like this. I'm gonna grab some food. I'm gonna grab a power cell. Um, and then I'm just gonna come back through here, honestly. And use this to go into the Lost River. <clears throat> It'll probably be quicker than jumping down all those uh, platforms, wouldn't you think? God, it's fucking hot in here. Holy shit. That's why I usually wear tank tops, because I am dying. Yeah, those guys are so friggin' cool. They're pretty fucking cool. I kind of want to explore the mountains, though. They really are space heaters, it's true. They really fucking are. The Neptune. I think before we leave the um, planet, we should explore some zones that I haven't really seen too much of, like the mountains and the dunes. And maybe see if we can find all five of the sea emperors. That'd be pretty cool. Yo, what's up, Dusty? 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 Today was a big day! Today was the biggest of days. Stand up and stretch! It's probably not a bad idea. Oh, I left the scanner on. I left the scan- oh! Maybe that's why my base has, like, no power. Yeah, I was driving all day because today I went to go look at land. Yeah, it's all italicized. What the hell? That's so weird. They yo, you they're they're non-aggressive. They're filter feeders. Yeah, looking at land today, and it's amazing. I'll tell you more about it later, like more, because, I mean, obviously you're going to come visit me there if I get it. Um, but, like, holy moly, it was so nice. Like, I'm shocked with how awesome it was has acreage real acreage and um there's a river on the property there's a pond it's walking distance to a small adorable town um with a grocery store and an lcbo so it's all good um like, we want to put up, like, a boardwalk. There's a forest section. Like, it's incredible, <laughs> actually. Yep. 
there's so much and it's closer than all the other places I was looking at. Oh my goodness. Odin is leaning into my foot. Yeah, that's right. It's closer too. Wait. Um, silicone rubber and two ion batteries. Well, that's doable. I just need more gold and silver. Oh, that's neat. Um, wait, so I need just two of those, I believe. I think, was it two? I don't remember. So I need gold and silver. Oh, wait, do I need four crystalline silver? I hope it works out too. It's fantastic. I think that you would love it. I really think that you would love it. I need four crystalline sulfur. I have three. Oh, fuck. But yeah, I'm just like so beyond excited about it. I don't look excited or sound excited. Oh, I have more crystalline sulfur, it looks like. Hold on. Do we not need to go down? Do I have silver? Oh! Fuck yeah, I might not need to go down. Okay, dude, dude. So four. Four crystalline sulfur. Um, I've got two gold. Do I have two silver? Silicone rubbers. I needed two of those. I just need two. I need two silver. Two silver. Please, no. No. Oh, I gotta fetch the prawn. I thought I had to go back down, turns out I didn't, so now I gotta go back. I mean, I don't need to go back and fetch the prawn. If I just need silver, I can easily do that with the sea moth. Easily. Oh, I left the lights on. Oops. Yo, what's up, host Poseidon? How you doing? Because there's nothing else like you. I am exhausted today. I... I am so tired right now. I wouldn't even... Like, I know I look tired and like shit. Today I decided to choose tiredness. Because I drove all day. And I'm just playing my video games. I feel tired. I feel like I look tired. If I'm totally honest. I actually have a $2 bill though, which is exciting. I'm not even American. But I have an American friend that came up to visit me a few years ago and she gave me a $2 bill. So that's cool. Doing much better now? That's good. I'm glad to hear. Yeah, I, uh, I had a very exciting day. Um, I drove all day. Be oh fuck, I probably should have. Oh fuck yes. I drove all day because today I went to go look at land that I'm probably gonna be buying. I wanna buy it at least. I want to. I'm just <sighs> I wanna put a conditional offer in that I can build um a house on the property. That's the thing. So, I might be a- I might be a landowner by my birthday next month. Which is fucking beyond exciting, if I'm honest. No, oh, I need silver! I might need more gold. Probably not. But maybe. I might. Silver. Okay, I'm gonna try and grab a little bit more, though. Lead. I might need lead. I wouldn't doubt it. Lead! Do I think I'll have an issue with it? I... The thing is... 
So the property that I'm looking at is surrounded by environmentally protected land. And part of the land that I would be buying is also environmentally protected. So I need to be a certain distance away from environmentally protected land so that I don't fuck with it, obviously, and I agree. Um, so I just need to be certain that I can build a house where I want it to be. Luckily, like when looking around Ontario, there is so much protected land and I love that. So I'm really glad that I found an area that's mostly protected because then I also will not get a bunch of subdivisions in my area, which is fucking phenomenal. <laughs> God, excuse me. Uh, now you can sell it for two times as much and buy two lo- No, I'm not doing that. I really like this land. I don't like the idea of doing that. I don't have a problem with people buying land and selling it for more to make a profit. The issue is when they do actually sell it for twice as much. That, I think, is disgusting, especially when they're buying up all the land. When people are actually seriously trying to get out of the city because, you know, pandemic and shit, you know? Uh. Thank you. But, um... Yeah, like, I saw plots of land that were, f like, 40 grand going up for, like, 80. It's gross. It's gross, it's gross, it's gross. They're buying land and reselling it for more. Super gross. That is an incredible price. Yeah, see, that is worth it. You'll never find something that cheap here. Never. Never. I hope I get it too. There's nothing on it though, which is actually what I want. Um, I don't want there to be any houses because all of the houses are pretty much just run down pieces of shit that um, they just it's just not good. It's just not good. Run down pieces of shit that you have to tear down and renovate. Oh wait, shit, did I? Okay, good, okay, good, 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 good. I need two more, oh, no, oops. Oh yeah, well, I'm not moving to Alberta, I'd rather not. It's fucking so cold there. Fuck that, fuck that. No thank you. Okay. Uh, do I have... Um, lithium. We went lithium... Hunting and... Yeah, I do. Yeah, it is too. Okay. So. Plasteel ingot. I need four kyanite, two ion power cells, four crystalline silver. I think I got it all right here. Well, I mean, I need two more kyanite. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Welcome aboard, Captain. Yes. Yes. Nova Scotia is so cheap. When Canadians complain about the cold? Yeah, I mean, well, every winter it gets to, like, negative 40 there. Fuck that. Like, it can. It has gotten to negative 40 here. But, like, you know, again, fuck that. Oh boy, guys, it's time! It's time to build the next section. Boop! Yeah, oh, you can get fucking cold! You know what I say to that? Fuck that. No thank you. No thank you. 
200 acres is a lot of land though but that would be fucking stellar that would be so cool to have hundreds of acres you know what i would do i would uh i would get a horse and i would i would uh survey the land on horseback all right and that would be stellar that would be so cool i have a lot of this stuff an older home the view yeah i mean that that's that's awesome that's that's what you want when you get land if money is not a huge object honestly if the land is right bulldoze the house and build your own stuff on it oh fuck that nitro no 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 we don't need that <laughs> fuck that see i i want to do a homestead so i want to have um I want to have, like, perennial plants, you know, trees and stuff like that, you know? Okay, so... I need an enamel... Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I need the Cyclops shield generator. I need a computer chip, so I need two of those. Oh, fuck. Right. I gotta... <sighs> There's no power in it anyways. Alright, alright, alright. I totally forgot that I should, like, turn that off. No! Good enough. There's tons of those mushrooms around here. There we go. All right, let's turn this off. No more searching. There we go. Come on, power. Here, you know what? Let's actually let my dude take a nap. When we wake up, there should hopefully be sunlight and some more power. There we go! There we go! Yeah, I mean, this in general is also just- like, it's all draining it. Also, this is running, you know, like... It's okay. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Computer chip. I think it requires a wiring kit. What? Copper wire, gold. Oh, cool. Copper wire. A gold. Where's my copper? Um, oops. Not afraid to get back in the saddle? Why would I be afraid to get back in the saddle? I miss riding horses, honestly. I really, really, really do. I rode horses for like 11 years. I miss them so much. Alright, I need a... Um... Yeah, no, I rode horses for like 11 years. Wait, where are all of my- Ah, oh, there we go. <clears throat> See, Treader Poop, that's true. Yeah, that stuff can last a million years. Alright, now... Oh, where is my... Wait, was it here? No. One, two... Okay, cool. Plastio. Oh, there we go! <sighs> Plasteel. Enameled glass. Computer chip. Cyclops shield generator. 
Guys, this is this is uh, pretty much it. And then I have to build a time capsule. And yeah. That would be the end of the game, but I want to I want to do a little bit more running around. Check it out. Guys. Checked out the recordings yet? No, I haven't. I haven't had, um, like, energy. Oh, actually, no, I just noticed. This is a little low. Here. There we go, guys! Neptune 1 rocket. Online. Yeah! Yeah! Ho ho ho! Guys, check it out! Check it out! We got a rocket! We have a rocket! Boop. Let's go check it out! Odin, please. Oh, you're so stinky. Odin, come on. Would you take a shit or something? Yeah, there's storage. I'm gonna leave all this stuff. Because I'm not leaving right now. I just wanna check it out. Hell yeah! know why it has storage lockers either. It's a little weird. Maybe it's for like people like me that are like, oh, well, I'm sure my character would have appreciated food and water. Oh, come on, let me out! Odin, your asshole is so stinky. Oh my god. No, I can't do this. I'm sorry. I can't do it. Literally the stinkiest. Huh? <laughs> Excuse me. Alright, guys. To take all that useless gold back with you? Yeah, right. Honestly. Yeah, gold is only really useful in late game, and even then you don't need that much, and you get so much of it. No! What? It, this game, it's a perfect system, you know? True, I could save. I could do that. It's probably a good idea. Alrighty. So. Yeah, this thing is uh, not generating a whole lot of power. I think I can only fit three. Not even, I could only fit two. That's weird.
Yeah, oh, well. Okay. Yeah, something else is absolutely demolishing the energy. Is it the scanner room? Can I turn this off? Is it this? I don't even know. I swear I wasn't- it wasn't this demanding of power before. Yeah, yeah, Zazu, I, I, I'm not sure- I mean, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna be leaving the planet soon. I just finished building the Neptune. Um... I just need to build a time capsule. Deployables... Uh, wait, we might actually have to go back. Yeah, for the most part, yeah. This is like my sixth time playing the game, so like... I'm definitely not, um... A noob at it, I just... I was all doing just fine and dandy with the power until... I left the scanner room on for a little while. Hey, Digger. Alright, hold on. Let's go back up here. I need to build a time capsule, but I think I need to actually, like, go up in here. Boop. Oh, it's right here. Yeah, I was just doing a, a quick playthrough because sub, uh, Subnautica Below Zero comes out on the 14th, like, properly, which is all very exciting. And... Oh wait, do I even need to build a time capsule, or is it just here? Prepare a time capsule. Oh! Okay, I see. I see. Not ready, yeah. Yeah, no, I want to leave them actual useful shit. Alright, so I don't build it. So we could just leave whenever. I just need to grab some stuff to put in there. Uh, the plot was kind of out of the way, so I don't know how much. <clears throat> trail cam- I would love to uh, set up a trail camera, like, on the property, just so I can- oh, for fuck's sakes. Just so I can see what kind of animals are around. I think that'd be really awesome. Put in the cure! <laughs> that would be funny. I'll probably just give them useful stuff, like Oh wait, maybe I should take the Seamoth. Maybe like Nickel and Crystalline Sulfur if I have any. That could be useful. I definitely missed a couple PDAs though, I think. Which is fine. Okay. Boop. Um, do I have any- yeah, maybe like some nickel. And... Crystalline- I've only got two crystalline sulfur. I can only put so much in there too. Maybe... A ruby and a gel sack so they can make an aerogel. I don't know how early game they'll be finding my thing. Okay, gel sack. Hey, sci-fi. Oh, you know, just doing the thing. The music in this game is incredible. It's a shame that they fired the music guy. But what can you do? 
Ähm maybe, maybe a silver, because silver is just such a, an ass to get. I don't know, I'll do it. I'll, I'll grab some important things. Diamonds are everywhere, lithium is everywhere. Oh, a stalker tooth could be useful too. Damn it. Oh, I have a peeper! Oh my god, I would definitely. I'd get that footage and I'd just be like, hey, tell your kid to stay the fuck off my property. I'm gonna be having like big dogs though so and also the property line is all fenced in but i'm gonna be having big dogs people better like hope that they don't trespass that would be bad for them i'm just saying but i don't i'm just playing i'm just playing a game Billy always finds a way. You have to get bit. <laughs> no, I, I don't think we'll have to worry about that. <clears throat> okay. Hmm. <clears throat> I want to give them actual useful stuff. Oh, maybe give them kyanite. I don't know. I'll bring a bunch of stuff. And, uh... Depth modules wouldn't be bad. Moving? Yeah, I'm trying to, um... I, I went today to buy land. Or I went, yeah, I went today. I went out today to look at land that I'm probably buying. Oh, they wouldn't be able to ATV on my property if I get it. They wouldn't, like, it's all, it's literally all fenced in. And the only spot that they could ATV is, like, where my house would be. They wouldn't be able to cross my land. Like, there's literally a six foot fence. Or like five to six feet uh, with barbed wire going around the property and also a lot of it is like, like there's river and stuff like that they won't be able to it would not be a thing that they could do look at me being so thoughtful to other players I get such shit stuff every single time I fucking find a time capsule There we go, now my power's going up. Beh, I'll just eat some potatoes. my dudes I want to go out and find um, I want to see if we can find one of the uh, sea emperors I think there's one to the south yeah I understand that I totally understand that I'm I'm excited, but also nervous to buy land. Mostly excited. Mostly very excited. Very, very, very excited. But still nervous. I just don't know what it's gonna end up being like.
Ugh. I mean, you know, Canada's not doing super well when it comes to housing, which is why I'm buying land and building a house. It's cheaper to buy land and build a house than it is to fucking buy a house. And then if you buy a house, you're gonna have to renovate the whole thing. Which is shit, by the way. I know that there is a few, hold on, let me save. There's five different um, sea emperors around. It's just finding it. There's also, um, oh look, it's a baby. There is also a ghost leviathan over here though too. So there is that that I have to keep in mind. Blind, it's true. I'm pretty sure it's kind of around the floating island. There's definitely a ghost leviathan around here. Oh man, where was it? No, I don't have the sonar right now. I'm just looking around blind. I'm at the end of the game, anyways. There it is! See, I told you. Hello! Hi, sweetheart. How you doing? Hey. What's up? <laughs> yeah, I grew up. Can I scan you? Oh, you swim fast. No, I can't. Either way. Hi, honey! Hello, sweetheart. You checking out my sea moth? She's like, hello. What's up? Captain. Where'd you, where'd you go? Where'd you go? You went somewhere. Oh, you're quick. Oh, there you are. Hello! They're so cool. Yeah, I don't really remember where the other ones are, but there's that one. All right, let's head on back. I just wanted to see one. Let me make sure it's doing all right, you know. That's true. That is true. A lot of things are very inspired. By Love but I mean Lovecraft is also just very like bottom of the sea kind of mysterious and horrifying and that's uh you know it's just, it's just the bottom of the ocean and this is an ocean game I have not checked in on uh, Weidman's leg yet if any of you guys want to look up how Weidman's leg is doing, actually, I would uh, appreciate that a lot. No, no, this isn't below zero. This is, uh, I'm at the very end 
of the first one. On the 14th, the next one comes out. So the day after, well, the first day of stream after the next one comes out, I'll be playing it. On a walker now? Okay. A speed run, yeah. Oh man. Uh, yeah, no, Weidman's leg snap was fucked up. Not gonna lie. It was a little... It was a little fucked up. I feel really bad for the guy. I hope he's... I hope he's doing alright. Oh, okay. Yeah, if I was Weidman, I, like... He snapped it in half on fucking Saturday, and it's only Wednesday. I wouldn't be on a walker, I'd be in fucking bed. You kidding me? I would be on drugs, and I would be in bed if I snapped my shin bones in half. Nah, man. Fuck that, man. Fuck that. His x-rays are up? Oh! Oh, that poor dude. Alright, guys. Let's listen to some PDAs or something. Or actually, I do want to check this out real quick. Oh, thank you for the follow. Hold on. Let's see here. Yeah! Oh, I'm sure. Few x-rays pre-surgery, post-surgery. Oh, God. All right, let's see this. Hey, you know, it looks like a pretty clean break, though. It looks like a pretty clean break. Oh my god. He's literally got nails in his bones. Oh. Dude, right? It's fucked up. The more- the most fucked up thing is that Anderson Silva snapped his leg in half off of him eight years ago, and then now it happens to him. Oh, so yeah, no, eight weeks? No, I would, uh, you know. Ugh. I know, right, Jim? You'd be like, oh, yeah, that. I snapped my leg in half. Want to see the video? It really fucking did, Alex. Well, Alec. Alec X. Stanley. Yeah, it's, uh, well, I mean, it, it really is. When you look at Silva, I mean, his fighting was not the same after the leg snap. Absolutely no offense to him, but, you know, it just, it's not the same. It's really not the same. This could be the end of Weidman's fighting career. Which, you know, I mean, for his own safety, it's probably for the best. Oh, he probably- he does. Probably does. I mean, I can't say for sure, but probably. I would hope so. Oh, Jesus. Alright, guys. Look at that! Look at the reef back! He's just chilling! Hello, little guy! Oh. Look at him! He's not supposed to be there! You should be at least ten feet down! <laughs> Silly little guy. Goodbye, endless ocean, you terrifying fucking place. Oh, Jesus. Time to go back to school. I mean, I'm sure he's made a decent amount of money. Hydraulics. Pressurizing system. hydraulics. <clears throat> Communications systems array active. That's true, Alec. Power unit online. That's very true. I feel really bad for Uriah as well. He felt so terrible. 
And I mean, I don't blame him at all. Primary computer systems active. Life support systems online. All systems are go for lift off. Maybe we won't listen to stuff. <clears throat> eh, that's okay. Um, okay, so Ruby, Gel Sack, Stalker Tooth. <sighs> we can only put so much in it, huh? Prawn Suit Depth Module. Maybe crystalline sulfur. Oh, I don't know. Maybe nickel. Three nickel, a ruby, a gel sock, and a stalker tooth. How does that look? Pretty good. I know, right, Sapper? That's insane. 13 months after. Yeah, but, you know, he's still not as good as he used to be. Valentina is insane. I love her. Yeah, I don't know why people put in thermal blades. They're so easy to fucking... They're so easy to make. It's just a battery and a knife. Like... Put in difficult stuff to get. You know what I mean? I always find them with like repair tools and stuff like that. It's like, come on. Come on. Okay. Aerogel for water filtration. Stalker tooth so they can make enameled glass and nickel for stuff. Image. I don't have any. Good luck. Do I need an image? <sighs> Press F11 to take a screenshot. Oh, I should have... Back. Why do you keep closing me in here? It's a defective one. There we go. A driller. I might have. I might have left a drill arm, actually. There we go. Yeah, select. Time capsule ready. Okay, guys. It's time. It's time to leave all my litter here. Ready to launch on your command, Captain. Launch in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 2, 1. Time capsule jettison.
caution. Approaching orbital debris field. Oh. Orbital debris field clear. Performing gravity turn maneuver. Confirm destination coordinates. Nearest interstellar phase gate. Engaging ion boosters in three, two, one. What is a wave without the ocean, a beginning without an end? They are different, but they go together. Now you go among the stars, and I fall among the sand. We are different, but we go together. Oh. Every time it makes me so sad. <laughs> oh. Have you seen the boundary break episode that shows what actually oh. what actually goes on with this scene? No, uh no, I haven't. No, I did not turn off the uh, lights at the base. <laughs> it's all good. The plot of the game? So essentially, um, you, you were on this gigantic ship called the Aurora, which was traveling through space to um, basically build a gigantic interstellar space gate, I'm pretty sure, that helps connect with different parts of the universe. And you are told along the way that you need to go to this planet for a rescue mission, but the ship gets blown up out of the sky and you land, you go into like a, one of those pods, like an escape pod and you land on it and you have to survive on this alien ocean planet and try to escape, essentially. But the planet has a very dangerous bacteria, which is infecting everyone, on, well, everything on the planet. Uh, so the planet's under quarantine. It's pretty intense. So it's really cool. That's true. You conveniently, you conveniently conveniently land in a volcanic crater instead of the thousands of miles of abyss yeah <laughs> it's 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 a great game i highly highly recommend it and the not a second one the dlc which is basically an entire other game that for some reason they're not calling subnautica 2 even though it's with a different main character in a completely different part of the planet with completely different blah 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 um, it comes out on the 14th of May so I'm replaying this game right now Welcome essentially to all terror. permission to land will be granted once you have settled your outstanding balance of one trillion credits thank you yeah that's great to know <laughs> Yeah, so it's it's one of my favorite. This is literally the sixth time I've beaten it. You know what I actually want to do? Um, let's go check out some of my older ones. I could have, but you see, here's the thing, Sean. I would have still had to pay extra for those. Everything I t I take and use on there, they charge me for. I'm just saying, so if I went and collected extra shit, there's, it's all, there's almost no point. There's almost no point. 
Just go back. Live happily forever. I mean, there's no more sickness. I can have food. I just- I'll bring some friends with me. You know? Let me see some of my other ones. Let's see if I still have any of my bases and stuff. These aren't all of my games. I've actually deleted a couple. Um, but some of the more fun ones... I think I held on to. But I don't know! I think this one is from a few years ago. Oh, big base. Oh! Oh, it's the Nautica! This was one of my... This was one of my first ones. Alien cave entrance, yep. Oh yeah! This was one of my research facilities in one of my first games. Yeah, I built on top- there's my prawn. Let's check it out. Hey, Water Serpent, how you doing? Does the uh, no, the game doesn't really change. Oh, hello. Hello, everybody. Yeah, hi, little guy. Hello. What's up? How you doing? You have oh, you thought you're not supposed to be doing that. You're grounded. Goodness, so naughty. Clothing. Yeah, this one I actually really organized. Oh, yeah, check this out. Look how cool that is. It's, yeah. It's it's a few multi-purpose rooms, yeah. It's a couple. Oh, wait, hold on. Climb down. All right. Bottom floor. Oh. Alright, so I have another moon pool over here. And then over here. Uh I'll yeah, this this one was very unfinished. I was in the progress of building more tanks. This was yeah, this is my deep sea one. Yeah. I got some some buddies here. Breeding like crazy, I see. Uh yeah, nothing really there. Let's go up. Water filtration, battery charging, power cell. Yeah, this was just Oh, food. And whatnot. And then yeah, bone sharks. A lot of bone sharks. There's my cuttlefish! And these guys. Yeah, I got- I got, uh, got a lot of stuff going on here. My cuttlefish just chilling with those rays. And then over here, my paper breeding program with a crab squid. I, uh, I was breeding these guys for food because they're one of the best sources of food, but I didn't want to make them go extinct in the wild, so I started my own breeding program. So I got a shit ton of them. Let me go up. Here's my- look at how organized my storage was. I got one for salt. Got another one for salt. Gold and silver. Fuck ton of lithium. Lead and like look at all this stuff. Gel sex. <laughs> yeah, copper. <laughs> titanium, not a lot of titanium because my base is fucking huge. But these used to be full. Quartz. Nickel. Yo, like I So much, yeah, meds. It's a little bit of time. I have- this is- this was just here for fun. Oh yeah, I had a couple fish tanks just for fun. 
Um, yeah, and then over here. Yeah, there's the scanner room. Fabrication, cl clothing, clothing. Oh yeah, clothing. And then miscellaneous. Yeah, that guy. And then the other moon pool, which had my sea moth in it. So this is my unfinished uh, aquarium. I'm exhausted currently because I spent all day driving because I went to go look at land that I might be buying. So I'm very tired. But see, I wanted to turn all the outside here into um, windows and uh, have all of this inner section for the most part be um, like reinforced walls. But yeah, I have it on top of the giant mushroom. I remember this one, yeah. This one was cool. A Gungan city? Hell yeah. But yeah, I uh... Oh yeah! And look, I have all this stuff in my- <laughs> Can you tell I played this one a little bit? <laughs> you know? This is all... Uh, very important stuff. Yeah, I think I was reorganizing. Maybe. But yeah, I had some, some good stuff. Ah, Jar Jar's not that bad. Let's go check out some of my other ones. So this one is two days, 13 hours. Uh, this one's almost 17. He's all right. I feel like he gets a lot of, a lot of shit. Even though he's not that bad. He's mildly obnoxious. That I can agree on, but like, I don't know. That's what he wants you to think. He's okay. Alright. Oh yeah, this base! This is a very different kind of base. This one I decorated a little bit more. Got the car there. First of all, let's go outside so you can... I mean, I just left. So this is another base in the shallows. There's the entrance, and then I've got all this stuff here. Deep sea, prawn suit. Is this the one that had the long tunnel? No, it wasn't. All right, so that's this one. Very simple. It feels like it's just mind control that we're supposed to hate him. I don't hate him. So here I have some food, some decorations. I just wanted to collect at least one of everything in this one. Here I've got that. Over here, uh, there was some storage. Here I have two cuttlefish. They're just chilling in there. And then there's some empty rooms. This this was my laboratory that I built. See, there's like a desk where I can, I can look at my little guys. I've got this all set up. I spent some time on this one, just making it cozy, you know? Some science shit. And then over here, I had some creatures from the local area. Then my prawn suit had its own docking bay. So this was for the prawn suit, the other one was for the sea moth. Over here, I had water going. Um. 
Yeah, there was... I feel like I had a room that had just storage in it, didn't I? Yeah, the... Weird, maybe I didn't? Oh, it was just in here, okay. And then I have that stuff there. I don't even... Stern... Proposed habitat... I think I actually left those on. Alien cave entrance... Yeah, I don't know. That was, uh, that's this one though. Quit. Yep. Eesh. So that's those two. One day, one hour. Yeah, this one. Wait a sec. Was this... The other one had a prawn suit though, didn't it? So why did it say I just had a sea moth? Throwing myself off, apparently. Sounds. Oh, this one also has a big base, it looks like. Oh, this might be the one I'm thinking of. They changed the- yeah? They changed the color thing. Oh yeah, this one I had them right beside each other. Okay. Yeah, the Jalisco, right. And... Yep. So I had two entrances. Let's go outside. Welcome aboard, Captain. Sure. Another... Shallows base. Very well reinforced. Oh yeah, Shell. <sighs> Food, water. This was gonna go out somewhere. Oh. Yeah, so I had all this stuff right here. Alive, med- wait, alive? Wait, is that like eggs and fish and stuff? Oh, fish! Oh yeah, I was collecting fish, that's right, okay. They're all just chilling in there, you know. Right, I had- I was collecting these things. In this one, I was collecting one of everything as well, I think. At, at least, if not more. Then here's the scanner room. Which goes out to the observatory, which I think is quite lovely. Ugh. No, that's fine. I don't need to eat. Alright, here was my bed. Modification station. Yeah, I, uh, I grabbed every single one of those. And then here's my power. Yeah, and then I have three levels of it, I'm pretty sure. Four? Oh, I had four levels of bioreactors. Four levels of bioreactors. I have so much power. <clears throat> and then, yeah, here's my peeper breeding program. Oh, yeah, this one. I kept. I'm keeping the crab squid completely sealed in as tightly as possible. 
and behind bunker doors so they don't see me. Because... Yeah, I was gonna start an aquarium here. That's right. Did I finish the Neptune? I did. Right, this was just before I beat the game. So there's that base. That base is not very exciting. I don't think I have any other exciting bases, but... I don't think I do. Let's see what my last one was. January 27th, 2020. I mean, they all have solar panels. I'm pretty sure. I had a lot of power in that base, though, for sure. Because I had four full bioreactors. Pretty cool. As you can tell, I've played this game a bit. I did. I played a lot. I played a lot of this game. It was just one of the fucking best games, you know? Alright, let's see what this base is like. This is a base. Maybe home? But what about- wait, do, does this one even have a proper base? I don't know. I usually build in the shallows just because I think it's very nice and quaint. The island beach, Seamoth. I might have not built a base in this one. I built the Neptune, though. Holy shit! Look at all these stalker teeth! May as well. Fucking why not? Three of them in a row? Fuck, I'll save. All right, let's go check out the maybe home and see what the fuck's going on with that. Alien base. Does that mean my home? I don't remember. I really don't remember. Yeah, here's the faces. Yeah. Oh. I think that's a base up ahead, I think. Maybe? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I had two prawns. Why did I have two prawns? I mean, okay, but <laughs> what? Welcome aboard, Captain. Apparently I had two prawn suits, yeah. Business prawn and casual be Bre uh, peeper breeding program. I did that in every single one except the one that I just beat. I got efficient with this base. Did I not have a bed? Looks like I didn't have a bed. Maybe this isn't my only base. No, that's two prawns. It's two prawns. <laughs> Alien base. Wait, was this a a base or 
an al an actual alien thing. It's time to find out. Cause I don't fucking remember. This was more than a year ago. Yeah, you know this might you know what I think this is? I think this is the portal. Yeah, this is the portal. This is there we go. Okay. Yeah. This is this leads to the portal that goes to the quarantine facility down in the very bottom of the world. Well, that solves that. Not a whole lot going on in that one either. There we go. That's it. Alright. Okay. Just give me um, a moment. I'm just gonna log out real quick, log back in just to split the VOD. And we'll play something else, probably like uh, RimWorld. What do you guys think? Do you guys want to do RimWorld? Or... Probably RimWorld. We haven't played RimWorld in a few weeks. I also need to like open up my window and close that door because I am f on fire. It's so fucking hot in here. Not the drunk one. <laughs> not not the drunk Rimworlds. We're not drinking tonight. Unless. Alright, you know what's like? I just want to give my cat a kiss. Cat kissed. I'll be back in just a sec and then we'll jump into some rim worlds. <laughs> 